Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Wayne Garcia. And I'm Shauna Parsons. First on Fox tonight, a man is dead and an Oregon state trooper is recovering after a traffic stop turned into a shootout. Just before one this afternoon, a car driven by the gunman with three kids as passengers was stopped on I-84 east of the Dalles. Those kids were not hurt, but the gunman is dead and the trooper was wounded. KPTV Sky Porter just talked to a witness. He joins us live from Biggs Junction to explain how it all unfolded. Kai. Shauna Wayne, tonight state police say that all three of those kids are over the age of 10, although it is not clear why they were in the car with this guy or how they knew him. Although investigators did say that the man got out of the car before firing that shot at the trooper. The man who owns Denty's Market and Deli behind me and at one point feared for the safety of his own children during this whole thing witnessed the aftermath to this violent encounter on the interstate. A friend of mine that lives in the Dalles um, called me on the phone and said, I heard on the scanner there was a shooting by your house, somewhere by your house. Jim Stroud was dropping supplies off at his deli when he got a call about a shooting just a few miles from his house. At the time, he didn't know if the gunman got away. My boys are adults and they're, they easily can take care of themselves, but I thought if somebody with a gun, you know, that's, that's a bad thing. So I wanted to get home and check on them. Meantime, state troopers rushed to the scene, which Air 12 later flew over. They say the driver of this car opened fire on a trooper during a traffic stop. The trooper was shot once in the side and returned fire. The gunman tried to take off, but officers found him about half a mile up the road, slumped over behind the steering wheel. Stroud says he saw the aftermath on his way home. Red lights flashing and, and officers obviously on the, on the freeway and they had their guns aimed at a vehicle that was parked probably 50 yards out in front of, the, of their vehicles. Traffic backed up for miles on the busy interstate. State troopers shut down both lanes of I-84 for more than five hours while they investigated. Stroud passed back by the scene after it was all over. And at that point, the vehicle that was parked in front of the state police uh, was empty. And the doors were open and there was, there was cops standing all around the vehicle and they had their sidearms holstered. And so I thought, well, everything's done. And tonight, the name of the driver and the trooper involved are not yet being released, although Oregon State Police say the trooper is 26 years old and he has been on the force for five years. We're told he is expected to be released from the hospital tonight. Reporting live in Biggs Junction, Kai Porter, the 10 o'clock news. Well, as officials continue to investigate that deadly 